Good morning, everyone. Surf Gal. We are playing some more Sakari, which is a Super Mario World ROM hack. Today we are continuing on through, I believe this is chapter three, and we are on the nuclear sewers, which I am not looking forward to at all. It looks like this is also a point where we're going to get two exits, um, judging by the path lines here. So we may have to spend a lot of time on it, even better. Okay, so we've got bright green sewers. Pretty classic. And unfortunately, not quite, or the uh, spin jump wasn't quite as useful there as I was hoping, but that's okay. Patience is a virtue. <clears throat> if we get hit, we lose our fireballs. Even though you don't die in one hit like in Mario, uh, traditionally. lose your power-ups in one hit. Okay, so there's the secret exit right there. Uh, you, Those are key blocks. So we'll probably have to run over here, get a key, and then run back to get the secret exit. a pipe! You're supposed to be able to just go down pipes! I have been, uh, the, the one downside of the fact that this game has such a diverse and well-made series of graphics is the fact that it's harder to recognize what everything does. <laughs> The only other thing I could think of, actually, no, so yeah, it seems like, oops, it seems like that should be where it is. I guess I'll just continue on to the end here. Maybe I missed it in the first half. It's at least good to know what we need. You need to get the key. Oh, it's right there. You know, I was just talking with someone about the fact that sometimes I'm a little blind when I'm playing games. I get a little hyper-focused. And uh, I cannot deny this. Oh, great.
nothing like a little tiny, uh, high pressure, uh, precision platforming to really, uh, get the adrenaline going. <laughs> Okay, deeper sewers. Great. Um, I think... Yeah, let's do the side path. Let's do the side path before we go back. Okay, this is a... Oh, I love these type of levels. What? Okay. We're gonna have to... There's no secret exit here, so this is just, uh... Oh, that's just progression, okay. Oh, man. That's actually really tricky. <clears throat> you kind of automatically hit your head there. Switching characters to get the ability to shoot, because that feels like it could be useful in these narrow tunnels. I find it less, or more likely that we're going to run into enemies that we want to take out, and less likely that we're going to... Seriously? Okay, maybe not, because she can't get enough speed to run across the blocks. Oh boy. You know, sewer levels being the staple that they are. Okay, she can't run across it either. That makes me feel slightly better. Also, that's kind of dumb. <laughs> and very unfortunate. Okay, so we have to take this a lot slower than I want to. I guess we're just gonna go... Let's get our firepower back then. And be glad that we have a ton of lives. This is rough. Okay. That jump is a lot tighter than it looks. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, I'm not even sure what I did there. I like the other sewer level better, which is saying something. I do like scrolling levels like this, where you can kind of move around, but in general, single blocks like this, <clears throat> that one was my bad, are some of the most frustrating platforming uh, in most Mario games, if you have the ability to kind of like fall between them. 
but especially in this one because it seems like the it seems like this one it does not hold up as well in that specific regard as far as running across blocks goes Okay, let's grab this block, just so we've got a little bit of extra in case we run into something. I feel like I'm getting the rhythm on this a lot better now. Those one, those single blocks were the thing that was throwing me off, and I'm feeling much, much better about it now. Could have gone better, but we'll take it. Okay. And I'm assuming this is going to be another Switch Palace. Oh, Challenge House. Okay. Challenge House 3, Ride on Ditzy. This is terrifying. We missed a diamond at the beginning, but we still got a couple one-ups out of it. We'll take it. Uh, less than we got clearing the sewer, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, let's go back to the nuclear sewers and see if we can clear it out. And then we should be ready for the, the boss level. After that last one, this one feels pretty straightforward, which is nice. Uh, just in case you were not paying attention or have, couldn't see, uh, the moss is like ice physics. 
if you see like green slimy blocks, those are uh, like ice food. Slippery. <laughs> we'll just go with slippery. Like this. Okay, still can't kill that guy. Great. And I think we want to go on the top path here. That seemed like it was overall easier. Although these guys are annoying. Checkpoint, and now we're into uncharted territory. assume we don't need to continue carrying that after the ladder, and that's probably why the ladder is there. That should take us to <laughs> Little Nancy. That's immediately terrifying to me. And we get awesome music in pretty much every boss level. Um, I think we continue with K-16 here. Maybe a mistake there. I was not thinking about the dismount there. Once again, those one tile blocks. Ugh. Okay. Definitely a level that is designed for the other character uh, for the most part. I seriously just missed both of those hearts. So, I don't suppose there's even a point trying to reason with you, huh? Oh, Sakari. 
I always thought you were an annoying bitch. I do so hope your flesh ta your flesh tastes good. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that escalated quickly. So this boss immediately reminds me of. We have to start from the checkpoint every time. Ugh. Almost missed that again. Okay, back up to full health this time. Should be a much better chance at this fight. does she take? I'm wondering if there's like invuls or invincibility frames there that I'm not seeing. I know the other boss, there was like a, you had to like wait for him to finish his like recovery animation. It's like a cycle thing. Come on. almost really bad. I'm already at full health. Okay, that was definitely weird. We were close the first time. There's something that doesn't... Or about the way that she responds to getting hit that just doesn't feel meaty, I guess. Okay, that takes us to chapter four. So, I think this is going to be a great time to stop. Hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.